up guys, Angle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Bot Lane Ziggs. The AD carry Bot Lane Ziggs, as you guys have been wanting to see and I've been wanting to do. On top of this, you guys have been wanting Machine Gun Lulu, and I will be doing that soon, just because it actually does sound fun. But, we are doing the Bot Lane Ziggs, and before this video gets started, make sure you guys do follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming a lot more. To be specific, I do have a streaming schedule. Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. or starting at 9 a.m. EST, 6 a.m. Pacific time or 2 p.m. GMT. So, you know, change those time zones to whatever you are and be there because we will be streaming a lot. We'll be having a good time playing some hot League of Legends, and well, we'll go from there. Anyways, we're playing this AD carry Ziggs AD carry because you're not AD carry. You're actually just fill, you're filling the role of bot lane because AD carries in 2017. Lul, they're fucking shit. They're actually garbage. AD carries right now. I mean, they're not horrible, <laughs> but they're definitely not in a good place right now. AD carries are not in a good place right now. So if you can just take away that role entirely, <laughs> why not, right? Give yourself a fucking Ziggs instead. Because Ziggs, the reason Ziggs is so good is because this boy, who, this boy takes towers. All right. That is what this boy does. This boy takes towers. And let me show you guys as this game goes on why it's not bad. As long as I play it well, then I can show you why it's not bad. But if I don't play it well, then I mean I'm pretty bad. Um, but the good news is for all you, you know, not so great players out there, because, you know, if you're just like me and you're not very good at the game, then you would love to hear this. This is one of those champions that you can actually play and you can die as much as you want. It does not matter how much you die on this champion. Because all you do is you push. I mean, you're Ziggs. So you push and you farm. And you hope that a Zyra isn't going to sit there and take all of your minions. So, got that going for me as well. But, like I said, you push and you farm. You push and you farm a little more. And we'll go ahead and... I'm actually going to grab my W right now instead of my E. Because, uh... Last time I did this, I actually died, all because I didn't have my W at level 2. <laughs> so, you know, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Let's see here. I did miss 2 minions straight up because of Zyra earlier, and now I've just missed 2 minions because I'm bad at the game. So, well, it is what it is, and what you gonna do? Go ahead and use the Empowered Auto Attack on that one. Get this minion. And I am not poking near enough. I should be poking quite a lot more, but I'm actually not too worried about it. Because in my experience, you know, seeing this all the time and whatnot, this isn't something that you just sit there and... I mean, it's not something that you sit there and kill the lane in. You can get kills, obviously, just like anything else, you can get kills. It does depend on a lot on your support, but uh, you can definitely get kills. It's just not as likely as maybe a more volatile lane would be. Where with this, you do nothing but you push. You push and you push and you push. And god damn it, Sire. <laughs> Zyra is really messing with my waves right now, so I'm missing a lot of CS that I shouldn't be missing. But it's alright, it's all good, it happens. So, not gonna worry too much, will not fret too much. We do have this guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and bust that and the flash. We should be good. Yeah, we're out of there. So, <laughs> Shaco gonna do Shaco things. It's not gonna matter too much, though. We're just gonna go back real fast. I'm not gonna try and stay here, because that'll just get me killed by the Shaco. Or by something that I just don't really want to die from. So we'll grab a second Doran's Ring. This isn't what I usually do. It looks like our Zack is dead. So that's going to be first blood going down for some reason. I have no idea why he did that. But he will be going down. Wait, that wasn't first blood. I forgot Renekton already got first blood up top. So good job, buddy. But Zack will still go down. That's not very good for us. Um... Wait, God, he has Deathfire Touch. Why? No, he's going full AP. Why? No, dude, no. That's that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. It's fun, but it's bad. All right, whatever. I can still single-handedly carry this game, basically. Because I know it sounds weird, but I have seen it happen. Like I was saying, you guys remember what I was saying before, right? You can die as much as you goddamn want. You can feed your ass off all you want. Zyra needs to stop from changing these minions. I don't want to compete with her for him. But, you can just die all you want. Die, 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 all you want to fucking die. Because at the end of the day, 
You do not care. You don't care. What, you gonna die? Whatever. You gonna go right back to that tower and kill half of its health in one auto attack? That's what you're gonna do. Please. <laughs> For the love of everything, this is tilting me playing with the Zyra. Because <laughs> I don't know her and she just keeps randomly fucking auto attacking the minions, man. <sighs> but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. We'll be fine. Just don't, just, just don't tilt. It's fine. It's fine. But you'll see. After we get our Morello Nomicon and our Lich Bane, our damage on towers starts to get ridiculous. Plus, when you get a tower below 25% HP, you just throw your W under it and it kills it instantly. So, that is exactly what Ziggs do. And we'll go from there. I don't know if Shaco is down here. I don't know if that that's what that ping was for. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like they're getting... <laughs> These guys don't look like they're aggressive at all, so basically if Blitzcrank runs up at us, that probably means Shaco's here. Probably. Um, not for sure, but probably. So I'm just going to dip myself on out of there, get out of that hot situation, and we'll see if we can... Oh, not get that... Not get that poke off on him. Yeah, the way he's playing, like... If, if he goes aggressive at all, that means Shaco's here. That's 100% what that means. So let's see, maybe... Boop. Look at that poke! Look at that long-range poke! We'll just keep on... Keep on pushing, I guess. Because now we are at the point where this is... Where it starts to pick up a little bit. Because, god damn it, Zyra. Stop. I need these! Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's fine. Boop. Eh, okay. Maybe I should have just fought that, dude. Maybe I should have. I guess I... No, I shouldn't have. I made the right choice by just trying to dip out. I definitely made the right choice just trying to dip out. So, you know, when I think about it, I definitely did... I definitely did a good. I definitely did a good. So, boop. Get both of those. I think Shaco is on his way down here now. So, let's see if I can get... I'm not going to be able to get that. I should just go back here. Um, because the way I'm saying right now is very risky. Like, the amount I'm saying right now is very risky. If Blitz hooks me, he's not. Okay. So just making sure he's not going to hook me there. We're going to go straight for the Merlin Very standard stuff here. Um, nothing, nothing crazy about going for the Morellos. So we're going to go straight for that and go from there. And, god damn, dude. I'm glad I'm finally going to get some AP so we can get some damage off on this turret. But this build picks up after you get your Morello and after you get your Lich Bane. And then you do nothing but sit there and split push. You can team fight because Ziggs is really good at that. Um, but you play the Ziggs four towers. Like, that's what you do. And as soon as, like, if I can make one of these guys back, I'll be able to show you guys that in an in instant. In one push, we can probably get this bot lane turret. Um, depending on how, you know, how, how well I do it. So let's see. They're probably going to back here sometime soon. Actually, they're probably going to go for the kill right there. That's, uh, so let's see. Whoop. Go ahead and, oh, there goes his flash. So the kill is going to come down. Maybe, whoop. Maybe I can get a return kill. Nah, not going to be able to. But <laughs> they did exactly what we expected them to, I guess. So nothing too crazy there. Unless, wait, where's, where's what's-his-face? Go away. Where's the Ezreal? I have my ultimate now, so I can actually... This is what I'm going to talk about. This is what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to corral this wave, right? I'm going to corral this wave, throw my ultimate right here, throw the Q, kill the entire wave, and get this under the turret. See, what we're going to do, throw our auto attack. Look at that. 118 just like that. Throw our weight or throw our abilities, get our passive back off, cool down a little bit faster. And actually, I'm doing no damage just yet. But if I can do enough to get this off of cooldown, god damn it, he jumped into my mind so the tower would hit me. <laughs> but one solid push will take it to half health. One more, and that tower is going to go down for sure. Because I can get that under 25% and take its life with the solid plays. With that hot, hot W maneuver. So, woo, look at that damage. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this passive auto attack off on it. Okay, got that, and... Boom! Alright, hang on. Whoop! Boom! Look at that damage! Avoiding them with expertise and prowess. So that's some that was some good dodges. 
I'm gonna give myself a small pat on the back for that one, a virtual pat on the back, obviously, because I ain't got that kind of time. I'm playing League of Legends, but a small virtual pat on the back right there. I earned that one. That was some good stuff. So let's see, do some more damage here. We'll go ahead and just wreck on this tower a little bit. So maybe, whoa, what the fuck? What? Huh. So let's see, whoa, what are you doing? And let's see if the exhaust, or not the heal, but the exhaust coming out from him. Zyra is going to be doing a bunch of damage. We do have Zack coming in on the back, and that's going to be the flash out of him. So good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. And boom! <laughs> he fucking ran into it. Oh my god, okay, well, that's one strategy. So let's see, oh he has too much mana. He can literally just run at me and hit his ult, and I'll die. I want to kill that tower so badly though. I really, really do. But unfortunately, I cannot do that. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, get me out of here. Yeah, you can't catch me now. You can't catch me. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and throw that out so I can get those a couple of those minions and make sure it doesn't push too hard into my tower. Because by the time I get back, yeah, I'm gonna be able to use it again later anyways. So not too worried. 82 CS compared to Ezreal's 62 is not bad is not bad so we'll grab these let's go ahead so top laner mid laner boop, boop. there we go now it's all rearranged and it looks like blitzcrank is either oh, nope shit <laughs> looks like zach might live this time nope wait no nope. uh, uh, maybe yeah he's gonna live this time barely though very very barely is Shaco going to live, though? That's what I want to know. Shaco will not be living, though. So finally, Zack is not going to go down. And that is good. Wait, I don't kill those in one Q? No. No. <laughs> Unlucky. But that's okay. I need to ward that. I need to make sure Blitzcrank doesn't just fuck me right now. There he is. <laughs> Doing what he's trying to do right now. So I'll just throw my Q there. And as you can see with the Lost Chapter and Double Doran's Rings, my, uh, my mana regen, my mana isn't hurting. Uh, that's for, that's for sure. So let's see. Woo! Go ahead and get myself out of here. And let's see. Boop! Maybe. Uh. Look at that sweet damage. And I'm gonna go down anyways, even though I did. I put up a, I put up a good fight, I think. But fuck, man. I shouldn't have done that. If I had my ultimate, that would have been better, but I used it to clear. So... Man, I really thought that was going to go better. Fuck that. Fuck me. I am not playing well, but that's okay. That's okay. It's been a long day. We can get from more little little Namakon, though, and that is good. But as you can see, with just my abilities, I can annihilate that Ezreal with no problem. So if I get... If I can just get one bit of alone time with him, this boy's done. This boy's done. I don't think he can actually 1v1 me if I play it well. So. If I don't play it well and I miss my abilities, then I'm boned. But if I land my abilities, then he's dead. Basically, if he ease aggressively onto me, I can ult myself. And then I can just use all my other abilities on myself as well. So, is she going to get out? She will not get out, but will he get out? Boom! Maybe no, dude! Come on, man! Unlucky. Not going to be able to get the Ezreal there. So, it is what it is. So, let's see. Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. God damn it, man. This is so frustrating today. I really thought I'd be able to kill that Shaco. <sighs> Everything's just really frustrating today. That kind of sucks. That kind of actually sucks a lot, to be honest. Like, it doesn't really matter, because like, the way this build works, I'm not really focusing on trying to kill people like I am right now. Or I'm not supposed to be. But I'm still doing it anyways because I'm a greedy motherfucker. But I'm going to grab my boots here. And we're going to see what we can do. I'm super sad I didn't kill that Ezreal. But it is what it is. So Shaco, at least Shaco's going AD. So he can't just like insta burst me. He can just kill me really fast. So that's good. That's the good news. Looks like Zack is going to come in here. Going to miss because of the flash. And since Blitzcrank is mid right now, we should be able to get this tower very easily. Um, so I'm just going to run down on here and hope that we can do something. 
hope that I can do something. I should be able to, no problem. So, throw this behind those minions. Don't even worry about the Ezreal. Don't even worry about the Ezreal. Just push this wave out. Because I can throw this W under the tower and kill it after I auto-attack it once. So, we'll just do this, and that's the icon that pops up. There goes the tower. <laughs> so, just like that, that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. So, throw this behind them. Kill that whole wave. We do have people coming in behind us, so I don't really want to do this right now. Um, at least I think we do. <laughs> Pretty sure we do. I feel like we do. Either that or they're setting up for dragon or going for our blue or something. They've got to be doing something in our jungle, right? Okay, so we already got the blue. Is he doing grunk? No, he's not. Is he doing wolves? No, he's not. Okay. Well, I guess I can do these real fast. So let's see, kill those, and let's go ahead and clear this, should be good. Get a little bit of extra money while I was searching for maybe whoever I might be able to find. It is another Mountain Drake, so if we can get this, that's even better for me actually. Because I want to see, I actually do want to see if I can get to the point where I can basically one-shot a tower. Because uh, if I can, that'd be pretty cool. No, he, oh man, he should have pulled that out. He should have pulled that out. Always, by the way. If you guys are trying to take a girl on a first date on Summoner's Rift, make sure you do the dragon and make sure you pull out of the dragon pit because she's got to know just how strong your pullout game is. So we will be able to get this for free. So the smite was a little late, but, you know, free dragon's a free dragon. So, good stuff. Go Whoa, okay. Now let's see. Whoop. Go ahead and use my heal there. And let's see. Kaboom! That's going to be a lot of damage going off on them. That's going to be a double kill. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You thought you caught me, but you actually caught the wrong explosive expert. So two kills going down for me, only with the use of my heal. And now I can go get some more mini onions down here. And we'll see. We'll see where this wild road takes us now that we've got a little money in our pocket. So with two mountain drakes, that is actually super good for us. Um, specifically for me. Maybe not so much for us, but very, very good for me. Um, can I kill these in one? Yes! All because of that second Mountain Drake, baby. All because of that second Mountain Drake. So I can kill those in one hit. Oh, goodbye, Renekton. Wait, Renekton's seven and three? He's just, Logan Owens is giving him the long dick of the law. I like it. We will get mid turret off of that as well. Good job, Jenna. So that's good for us. Let's see here. Grab this. And Lich Bane, grab the Sheen, grab the Blasting Wand, and we're going to go, I guess I'll go top real fast, because I can't really go safely bottom, but if I go top, I can go get this fatty wave that's stacking up there. That'll be pretty sweet. I can go mid, but I don't think I'm really going to accomplish anything by doing that. So Zach is going to jump in. Kind of be disruptive, but that's going to be about it. Um, actually, you know what? I thought they were going to take that tower. <laughs> I really, really did. I really thought they were going to be taking that tower, so I should have gone. I should have gone mid. Like you know, in hindsight, I should have. So it, you know, it is what it is, though. They got the tower anyways. Now well, let's go ahead and just keep on killing these minions. Look how easy it is with two mountain drakes, dude. Just kill entire waves in like three cues. And I can go do my or not mine, but these crugs as well. Should be relatively easy. Yeah, it's going to be easy. It's going to be nice and easy. So just kite it over the mines. Should be killing it really quick. Boop. Kill these. Kill these. And always, if you're doing, like, if you're playing anyone that can do these in any sort of timely fashion, always feel free to do Krugs. Because when you have a Renekton that's got 45 kills, he'll just carry everything while you go kill all the towers for him. So, you know what? Be the team player. Take one for the team. And do what you can. So we'll see here. Boop. Looks like they will actually also get a kill off onto the Ari. So that's good as well. And let me just let me just show you guys something here. So we see the two of them bottom, right? We see the two of them bottom. Watch this Riven. Is she gonna try and if she tries to teleport, this is gonna be a nice prank. So look at that damage right there. First of all, look at that. And first of all, look at that. The tower's gone in seconds. Melted like butter on a hot summer day. And now I can actually go back and grab my Lich Bane as well. So I'm going to go do that real fast. And even though it is 13 to 13, 
four towers, three towers. We have the two mountain drakes. We have the zigs with the lich bane now. Towers are a thing of the past, my friends. Towers are a thing of the past. So you'll see those and you'll be like, wow. Wow, that tower is a real thing of the past. That's exactly what you'll say. The flash hook from, or from the Blitzcrank will be... <coughs> I don't know if that was worth it. Because, I mean, nothing against him, but... That Zack isn't really worth a whole lot right now. So, I mean, it happens. I, I do get it. It does happen. But, boop! That's going to be, wow, very, very over-aggressive use of the ultimate, if you ask me. But it is what it is. So let's see. My heal is up now. So that is good. That's that's good. That's good. Kill this. Easy. Kill that. Easy. And maybe. 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 Oh, this tower is going down, dude. This tower is going down. Watch this. Uh. Uh. See ya, tower. It's gone. So we do have a Shaco behind us. Well, let's see. Maybe? Hang on. Wait, hang on, I'm doing these real fast. Okay. Um, woo! <laughs> Help out a little bit there. That's gonna be the awesome ultimate. And maybe... Sup, bitch! That's gonna be some good damage. I'm gonna flash over here and boom! Kill her just like that. And there's the surrender vote. That's gonna be an easy game coming out. Well, you know what? I'm really fucking tired of people surrendering right as games start to pick up. That's happening more and more recently, and honestly, I hardly got to show you guys just how sweet this the Ziggs can be. I didn't even do that much damage. Like, I did a decent amount of damage, but I really didn't do that much. And let's see, hold on, did I even get to do damage? Turrets destroy- well, there you go, of course, obviously. Obviously, it's your boy. But I mean, obviously it's your boy. But I mean, you know, if the damage taken, obviously it's not your boy. Imagine about magic damage. Yeah, now see, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. Well, you know what? It is what it is. You do, you got to do what you got to do. I really wish I could give you guys a longer ex, like a longer demonstration of that shit. Because Ziggs is just hilarious taking towers later in the game. You can literally kill them in two auto attacks, basically. Like, you just Lich Bane auto with your passive, and then you throw a W down, and it's like, auto it again, is gone. It's gone from full health. It doesn't even matter. It's awesome. And I really wish I got to show you guys more of that. But, it is what it is. Logan owns, lived up to his name. He owned way too hard. And if you guys did enjoy this video... I really don't know why this surrendered, but do make sure you leave a like and favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Discord, Twitter, Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I have a wonderful day. Peace!